The lease is up, and the rent will soon be due for Denver's tiny home community. Of course, all hope is not lost. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo shows us what comes next for one of Colorado's most beloved innovations. We are at the Blair Caldwell Library. Amanda works here in this laundry truck. Today we're doing free laundry for people on the street. She takes the clothes of the homeless, gets them cleaned, and is dedicated because she was just like them. And I came um, from off the streets. I had been on drugs and came back here. I came here and got cleaned up. She credits that to a program called the Beloved Community Village. It's a tiny home village dedicated to serving homeless. Living at the village helped me get my stuff together a lot faster and, and gave me a great community. But it's more than just a living space in Rhino. It's a place dedicated to turning lives around like Amanda's. I lived there for about a year and um, now I'm on the board of directors and I've, I've gotten an apartment now but this is still really important to me. Now the village's temporary lease is coming to an end. They have to be off their current location by March 1st. The city is deciding to replace it at this empty lot on Pearl Street for $10 a year. However, the city still has to vote on it. We've been denied locations twice in the last six months and it's, it's frightening. Um, these are people homes and they they need that stability um, so we really need this to go through that way they could turn lives around like Amanda's in Denver Thomas Hoppo Denver 7 and the city plans to review the financing for this proposal tomorrow and if approved the lease would have a term of one year with options to renew for up to four years so